the ongoing uh, rift in the Gulf, the blockade of Qatar, the, the spat between three of the GCC states and the fourth, Qatar, uh, began in June 2017 and is ongoing. Even the coronavirus uh, and all the changed situation we now find ourselves in hasn't necessarily led to a breakthrough. And I think really the reason why, again, the outbreak of the blockade took me by surprise. It took a lot of other people by surprise in terms of timing. Clearly it had happened in 2014 to a lesser degree when the Saudis, Emiratis and Bahrainis withdrew their ambassadors from Doha for nine months, uh, accusing Qatar of um, undermining the stability and security of regional states. Uh, in their view, that was code for supporting Islamist groups, including the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt and elsewhere in the post Arab Spring maelstrom. Uh, it went back even further, for example, to 1995, when the uh, father of the current Emir, Emir Hamad, uh, overthrew his father. And uh, February 1996, again, the same four countries, uh, Saudi, <coughs> UAE, uh, Bahrain, and Egypt, were uh, colluding to try and stage a counter coup attempt to reimpose the ousted Emir into Doha. You can even go further back in history. My book begins in 1867 when the sheikhs of Abu Dhabi and Bahrain uh, ganged up on, on Qatar and sacked Doha in circumstances of peculiar barbarity, as British officials at the time put it. So it wasn't necessarily a mystery that there was bad blood between several regional states and Qatar. Although I guess timing took a lot of people by surprise, including myself. And really a lot of the writing I've done since 2017, culminating in the book, was to look at why the crisis happened when it did, what are the implications for the GCC and for Gulf politics, and also how did Qatar beat the blockade in the sense that the attempt to isolate Doha in 2017 has arguably failed. It has failed to attract any real international and very limited regional support. And the Qataris were very quick to put in place alternative trade um, routes and to restructure a lot of their imports, which meant that within a week of the blockade, the initial uh, images of empty supermarket shelves were replaced by um, imports and by foodstuffs and essential items sourced from elsewhere. So they were very quick to put in place a plan 